Uh, Alright, so we gonna get started then? I get started on what? Talking about this crap. The two craps we missed. Well, the one crap that just finished. Yeah. And the second crap that we missed last week because we didn't. Yeah, I gotcha. You know, I kind of want to do a live commentary on the debates. As it's going? Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that you can't do that because they talk continuously. Yeah, you can. Well, you can, but what if you miss all the juice? Oh, I'm pretty sure there's not going to be much to miss. <laughs> what, if, what if Biden had, had flexed his muscles and we missed it because we were talking about it? Oh, I wouldn't have missed that. I would have still been watching. Get in on that. Why are you all, like, red and orange? Change to a different color, for crap's sake. They're all green and off-green for me, but that's because... Shut up. You're using XChat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and therefore, everyone, regardless of the color they pick on Justin, are conformed to your green. Exactly. It's, it's biased to everyone. You're not a very good president, Cliff. <laughs> I would not. I would not be a good president. I don't think you could be a president. I'm, I can't be fired in a in a non turbo newscast show. It's just debate talks. <laughs> oh God, I'd be president for about fifteen minutes, and that's you're it. an atheist. I don't see how you could even become president. If right I now. somehow managed to weasel my way into office I'd be president for about 15 minutes before someone realized you, you wait what like, the fuck just happened you have enough minority in you to not even have a chance mm -hmm. I'm part Mexican part Spanish part... maybe in 30 years when you actually can be president maybe then maybe then America will have changed or we'll all be dead one or the other and then it won't matter either way. I have to admit, yeah, I agree with Tim. That would be pretty much the best 15 minutes ever. Because you be. know, you know, in the course of those 15 minutes, I would manage to fuck everything up. Would there be a llama party? <laughs> there better be a llama party. Sure. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> There'd be a lemon party. Llama party. Llama. I want to ride a llama at a party. Do you want to start with the previous debate from last week? Let's start. Yeah, let's start with the presidential debate. All right. Sounds good to me. And it's funny, because it's been... How long has it been since... Uh... It's only been... It was last... Yeah, it was... it was last Wednesday, so it's only been a week and a day. Okay, so it's been eight days. That, that sounds about right. It feels like it was eight days ago. It it was, so I watched it. Yeah, so did I. I had to watch it on a delay, though, because I was in practice live. Oh. Oh, you can watch it live. It doesn't matter then. The American public had already decided by that point you watched it. Well, yeah. But that meant I could also pull up the fact checks and everything oh. and read them. So you can find out going. how much Romney lied. Hi, email. I should really turn you off during the show. Um, um, so, presidential debate. What did you think? Let's start with. Uh, when I, when I was, as I was watching it, or when I was done watching it? Um, let's go as you were watching it. As I was watching it, um, I was kind of surprised. I wasn't really surprised. I knew the president was not going to be overly energetic mm -hmm. um i knew i knew romney probably was because he's a great debater at least from what i've seen he's not very good at being consistent but he's good at attempting to persuade people that don't know the facts mm -hmm. so you know i i kind of knew he was going to be overly energetic because he had to kind of make up for all of the all of the shit he's, he's talked done. about <laughs> he's done over the past campaign yeah so but but i knew I knew he was going to do that, but it was kind of surprising to see that uh, the president didn't even mention um, any of the obvious lies that Romney has done. Yeah, that's what I 
I would have liked to see a lot more of that in not only the presidential debate, but in the vice presidential debate as well. Um, near the end, uh, Paul Ryan mentioned something about we won't make any cuts to the uh, military or something like that when he had just said like 15 minutes before this is exactly what we're going to cut from the military and mm -hmm. I would have loved to have seen Biden um, call him out on that I would have loved to have seen Obama call some of uh, Romney's shit out it would have been great to see just them actually debating, calling each other out and saying no, you're wrong that's not I have the facts right here. That's not what happened. Hey, if Romney is a wizard, I would have to rethink my stance on him. Because if he can do all that and not increase the, you know, and decrease the deficit, I would have to seriously reconsider my opinion. Because magic would be amazing, regardless of the former things. Now, Simon, I know they can't bring anything to the podium. I I know you can't have like a stack of papers just saying just with the uh with the unemployment stats in every single county in the country. You can't have anything like that. But y you can know the facts in uh off the top of your head. They know facts. Yeah. They very clearly know facts. All four of them, Romney, Ryan, Obama and Biden all know facts, and you can tell that from how each of them argues and how each of them looks. Um, and it, it would just be nice to see them using those facts against each other instead of just using them for their own arguments. Mm -hmm. it, it would, well, you, have to, you saw it in, in the presidential debate last week. You saw it that Romney often said that the facts that Obama brought were completely wrong mm -hmm. and they really weren't. No. So, but in this one tonight, with the vice president and Paul Ryan, there, there wasn't really as much of that. I mean, I mean, Paul Ryan said that, you know, there were there that they weren't gonna do anything in the military or whatever, but other than other than that, there wasn't really as much of that going on this time. Oh, are you shitting me? <laughs> the scroll bar for the presidential debate live blog and fact check is smaller than the uh the scroll bar for the presidential debate one. I meant the vice presidential debate scroll bar is smaller than the <laughs> I've screwed up my words somewhere between my brain and my mouth. That's alright. Yeah. That happens a lot. Really, though, I think it, I think even if um, even if the candidates themselves didn't do anything like what I was asking with uh, with bringing the facts to the debate and actually forcefully calling them out instead of just being being like, yeah, that's not right. No, I. That's that's exactly what I said. It wasn't right. Instead of that, it would be nice to have like a fact checker there. And I I keep saying oh. this. I keep being a proponent for this. It would be so nice to have someone sitting there at the debate just every time that one of the candidates says something, googling it real quick, finding the stats and being and not just putting it up on screen or something, actually calling it, calling out the candidate as they're speaking, just like, no, so it would Mr. Be candidate, like... that's not true. So it would, be, it would be like if you were sitting in the back with a laptop, in the very back, and you found something that's a complete lie, and you said to say, liar! Exactly. Yeah, the uh That'd be the dramatic way of doing it. The moderator for the vice presidential debate was a lot better at it. At, she was yeah, a lot better this way. Yeah, she was just a much better moderator in general. Um She could join mod chat. <laughs> oh, I think we'd gladly accept her. It'd just be interesting to talk to her. <laughs> just to get her opinion on uh what 
what she thought of the whole debate. Mm-hmm. What channel did you watch the debate um, today? Um, ABC, I think. ABC. Yeah, ABC. I watched it on uh, MSNBC. I know they have a liberal bias. Don't 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 need to tell me on that. My my mom had the channel on, so that's why I watched. Eh, whatever it's on. So, so uh, they were talking pretty briefly. I got, I got like the last minute of pre-show before the debate. Nice and timing. And they were talking about huh? Nice timing. <laughs> and. They were talking about how it was interesting how uh, the moderator was someone who was more into um, foreign affairs mm-hmm. than domestic affairs. Yeah. And and then at the very end, they said that it really didn't matter what what they thought about uh, foreign affairs because Americans don't really care about foreign affairs. Yeah. Um, <sighs> to be honest, the majority of them don't really care about foreign affairs. Mm-hmm. I care because I study foreign affairs. Yeah. But the 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 majority of low low informed Americans do not care very much about foreign affairs. They care about keeping their jobs, getting jobs, and maybe the abortion thing. Which well, uh Biden knocked out of the park, by the way. Yes. Biden clearly took the uh the Oh yeah, Biden clearly won. Debate. He was just much more on point. Mm-hmm. And it's... There were, like, two different sides of Biden that I saw. The extremely zealous, very shouty, very just in-your-face, this is what I believe, this is the fact. Mm-hmm. And then there was the more toned ba- toned down kind of the letting his guard down a little bit and mm-hmm. almost more um even more honest yeah um there was that biden and that that biden kind of came out after uh after they had gotten off of the military a bit and once they started moving into the religion part which I was kind of as soon as they brought up religion I was like nope I'm not going to like this am I well, I don't think that she really should have put... I really don't think that the moderator should have put them in a position where they had to talk about their religion in regards to their policies that they would have in in government. It's kind of a loaded question, if you know what I mean. Because you're supposed to separate church and state. Supposed to. But as we both clearly know, that's not what happens in American politics. So, since we both know that the American public clearly votes based on religion as well as their political viewpoints, it makes sense to at least get their religious viewpoints in. Because as much as we don't like it, as much as it shouldn't matter, for the time being, it does. Mm Mm-hmm. And I would rather be informed about what everyone else is going to be voting Mm -hmm. based on, just to get more information based, just any information I can get, I will take. Did you find it interesting that um, when the vice president was talking about foreign affairs, he tended to... He tended to refer to our allies more often than Ryan ever did. I don't think Ryan ever even mentioned our allies very much. No, Ryan was very, um, he was very on top of Russia and, uh, yeah. Libya. I don't, I don't think that Russia is our mortal enemy anymore. That kind of died away in the 90s, but... Uh, they're kind of tending to shy away from us a little bit again. They, mm-hmm. um, they've... Not they've chosen not to renew the arms deal with us and everything, mm-hmm. but yeah, they're not our enemies. No, that was and the Cold War thing. We're not in the Cold War anymore. <laughs> does anyone else notice that how the Republicans, their foreign policy, is incredibly illegal under international law? Like incredibly illegal. Which because part? you're you're not supposed to be you're not supposed to really have war in the first place. Well, yeah. <laughs> but all of these like 
occupations and sending troops here and there. You're not supposed to do that. And especially without UN consent. Mm -hmm. um, now, to be honest, uh, the killing of Osama bin Laden was also illegal under international law. Uh, Iran was supposed to take care of that, not us. Uh, and we should have asked Iran before going in to kill him, but no American really cares about that. They're yep. just like, he's dead now. Um, and Iran's not going to say anything about that either because it still show like, incompetence. Yeah. Or Pakis Pakistan? Yeah, sorry. Pakistan. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the presidential debate just happened. What the hell do you expect? I am so tired right now. <laughs> I, I haven't slept in days. So... Or vice so that was kind of happened. illegal, but no one's going to really say anything about it because if they did, then that would show incompetence on kind of both sides of, of, the, of the spectrum. But, you know, foreign, foreign policy is incredibly important nowadays because uh, it's getting quite dangerous to have wars. Yeah. Uh-huh. In fact, incredibly, incredibly dangerous to have wars, and to commit to uh, policies that are aggressive, not you, not not very good right now. Um, even even in you know even in areas where we should, where people think we should have occupation and should show justice or whatever. <laughs> Everyone's being sarcastic towards your force are dangerous? <laughs> well, they're more dangerous now than they were in antiquity, okay? I know what you meant. <laughs> if you if you want to look back between the or the war between Athens and Sparta, that war was not nearly as disastrous as any as any war we've had in the last century or two. Yeah, that the war between Spartan the uh, Sparta and that, no, it was that, incredibly disastrous for the yeah, for the Athenians. That didn't have worldwide implications, as in destroying the entire population. As in, Earth. we have nukes. <laughs> so yes, on a, on that scale, wars are a little bit more dangerous now. <laughs> yeah, that's putting it lightly. Um. So what did you think about um, the economy when they talked about the economy? I stepped in because I didn't. I wasn't there at the, uh, at the beginning of the debate of the uh, vice presidential debate. I st I walked in about uh, half an hour in, so I didn't get all of the uh, economy stuff. I started watching a couple minutes before they started talking about taxes, but. Mm -hmm. It very interesting how it it felt like Biden actually knew what he was talking about, and while Paul Ryan was doing a very convincing job of trying to make it look like he knew what he was talking about, you could tell kind of in the way he was reacting. Mm -hmm. To Biden, and this actually wasn't even just uh, just restricted to the economy section. It was the whole thing, as far as I watched. You could yeah. tell in his face, he had just kind of that look that said, "I know what you're saying is true, but I'm going to look like what you're saying is false." Mm -hmm. I'm going to look like I don't believe you because that will make me more credible. Yeah. Um I I don't I don't study economics, so I don't understand. I understand, but I don't really care. Yeah. Um about a lot of the topics they talked about because really I have I, I don't really have much of a um much of a weigh in I, I can't affect it very much regardless of how I vote I, in yeah. my opinion I don't think that I mean I, I 
I, I see I see the stats showing that the economy is improving, so I say, okay, well, Obama can't be doing a horrible job. It's not it's not continually decreasing. It's actually increasing mm-hmm. as far as goodness. Um, so I don't think that Paul Ryan saying that everything sucks now, even worse than it did back in 2008. Well, going back to the uh, the presidential debate, um, Mitt Romney kind of did the same thing, basing his uh, his stat off of the uh, gas prices mm-hmm. being the highest. Uh, Those are gas prices. That is one thing. Yeah. One thing to measure out of a mil- like infinite things. Yeah, that's one of those things you can't really use to support that's, your that, argument. That's like our one story we had back in the beginning of this, where we, where we looked at the, the, the amount of people going to baseball games and said, hey, there are more people going to baseball games now. The economy must be improving. Um, Simon? I'm a little bit hesitant to agree with you on that one. Because while, yes, the president does not directly have any effect on gas prices, from what I've seen, there was a... There's, um... There's been a bit of an... a decrease during election days, during election season. Uh, mm-hmm. A decrease in gas prices. I I don't remember what it is, but yeah, I I know there is a bit of a decrease. I know it's not directly due to the president. There we go. President's me. <laughs> I am so bad right now. So, Why do right, we do I'm shows at this time? <laughs> I need sleep. That's Uh, really so. But I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So gas prices probably not the best indicator of the economy. Yeah, you can't really use that as an argument. You can use it as part of an argument. You can't use it as the entire argument. Um I was about to say something, and then... <laughs> and then you lost it, too. And then it, it, it didn't crash, but it vanished. Mm-hmm. Like that. I don't know where it went. Uh, maybe maybe the wizard can bring it back. A.K.A. Mitt Romney. Um, <laughs> okay, well, I, what I was going to say is I found it interesting in the presidential debate uh, how Barack Obama, President Obama, he... He, he he mentioned multiple times the uh, what was it five trillion dollar uh, increase that would happen under Romney's plan something like that mm-hmm. and Romney said hey it's not going to happen it, we're not going to do anything that's going to increase the deficit uh, which is kind of interesting uh, considering all of the spending they plan on doing and. All of the not cutting they plan on doing, mm-hmm. while cutting taxes, mm-hmm. and while I'm kind cutting... of wondering where all this money is coming from that they're promising. Well, they're cutting the military, but they're not cutting the military. Well, they're cutting Big Bird, so I guess they'll have a few thousand dollars extra. Yeah, I. <sighs> I didn't feel like Paul Ryan actually said anything. He said a lot of words, but nothing that he actually said mattered. Mm -hmm. I am glad that uh, Biden, Joe Biden, um, mentioned the 47%. Yeah, that was a good thing. I'm really glad he did. (laughs) As soon as he said that, it was like, I I like you. I remember why I, I like you now. I probably did drink fifty three percent of my drink, according to that uh, drinking game. Yes, if you haven't, um, if you haven't seen it, Time 
has a uh, vice presidential debate drinking game. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's if um. Dude, if you were drinking alcohol, you would not be here. You would be passed out on the floor. Or oh dead. no, you'd be dead. <laughs> well, I guess it depends on what kind of. If you're drinking vodka, you're dead. But yeah. If you're drinking vodka, you'd be dead in the first 15 minutes. <laughs> like, oh crap. We just lost half of America. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was drinking soda, so I'm fine. I want to see them do one for the presidential debates. Because, yeah. honestly, I'd actually do that. <laughs> Oh god, yes, I saw that too, Simon. He was just chugging the whole time. Just every time he took everything. It was like every time that Biden talked, there was a drink on Ryan's side. The man must be thirsty. I don't know why he put the cup down below the desk. <laughs> To be fair, it was only an hour and a half long, so he didn't really need the bladder of a Norse god to do that. It just pee before the show, then you can drink all you want, then you pee right after the show. Boom, done. <laughs> I mean, I can do that. I'm doing that right now. I the had a bladder full of, of a Norse before. giant. I like that. Uh, I like. I like that. I'm gonna use that from now on. Oh my god, that's even better. He what? should have had one of those soda hats. That that would have made this awesome. <laughs> that and Joe Biden flexing. That and Joe Biden saying P90X flexing and winking at the camera would have pretty much Dude, just made I, the whole show. It wouldn't have matter who won. I would be happy. Uh huh. Who won? America. No, I don't care. I don't care. I won. <laughs> America won. <laughs> <laughs> no, America still lost, but we won. Uh huh. The internet won today. That's what happened. And you know that's going to be a thing because you know we're not the only ones who noticed just Ryan chugging. <laughs> Maybe it was some damn good water. I wouldn't actually be surprised. I've had some pretty goddamn good water. Like, maybe it was, like, delicious New York City water. <laughs> I have never heard those words strung together in a sentence before. <laughs> they actually have really good water. I'm not sure if it's, like, radioactive or anything, but it's good. You know what? Yeah, I'm tempted to agree with Tim. Maybe it wasn't water. That would explain a lot. What if it was vodka? Exactly. I want to see a uh, I want to see a presidential debate where they both show up drunk off their asses, where they they just walk in with like a they're like they're walking over here, <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> just like a half a thing of Jack Daniels, and they have to down the rest of it during the show. <laughs> they light up a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I'm drunk too. Apparently. Oh god, that would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Come in all bloody eyed. But yeah, what um what did you think about the moderator this time? I mean I know we've kinda of, we kind of went over it a little bit, but more in depth. Well, she was much better than the first in terms of moderating. Yeah, she was an actual Although, moderator. To be honest, I don't think that that they, that the Paul Ryan and Joe Biden were a little bit more respectful to the time. Yeah, she was. It was. Uh, I it don't was think she had only, to work as much to regain order. For the most part, there were a couple spots where there she were a couple did, spots. She was struggling, where she, where it was everyone talking at once, and it was just okay, guys, guys. Guys, calm down. Okay, my turn. Don't make me get the water squirter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that would have made the debate better, too. 
Well, Simon, wouldn't you be on the verge of tears if you have Joe Biden sitting there shouting at you from three feet away? I would. Because, my God, he was just shouting at her the whole time they were talking about the military. I was just sitting there, she's three feet away, stop shouting at her! You well, can shout Joe at the Biden camera, is... but you're not. <laughs> Joe Biden is like a national sex symbol, so I can't be that bad. <laughs> Oh, God. If we were going to do a show tonight, by the way, I was going to include that. Oh, God. <laughs> I am so glad we didn't do a show. <laughs> it's it's uh, a great story. Yes, I agree with you. It's just absurd <laughs> to the point of absurdity. And yes, you can do that. <laughs> I just felt like the moderator last week just... No control... He wasn't really a moderator. He was more I... of a mm -hmm. he was more of a text to speech bot when they just had the next topic on a scroll mm -hmm. and it just read them out. Yeah, it felt like he spent way too long on the first few questions, and then he lost a lot of time for the last, for like the rest of the questions, and and even then they they continually wanted to talk even more about those topics, and he just like we're out of time. To be fair, it is presidential and vice presidential candidates. They always want to talk. Well, yeah, but that's kind it's of, kind of the thing. job of the moderator to say, "Hey, look, you've had your time. Uh, we need to move on because uh, we can't have this debate going on all night." Because uh -huh. calls Paul Ryan while he's the bathroom eventually. <laughs> Yeah, one of you's gonna have to pee because I'm pretty sure he's drank the entire desk dry. So, <laughs> bring me another. <laughs> that actually would have been kind of hilarious if they'd had someone walk out with another just pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> they take the cup away and just put the pitcher in front of him. Indeed, that would have been fantastic. Looking at the screen there, itching something. Yeah. Um. What, uh. Did you feel like she was a, a little bit biased at all? I felt like she was biased towards, uh, Biden. Yeah. I kind of felt that. Too. I got that. I got that jive. Uh huh. Because there were a couple times. When... I felt like I felt like she saw the plot, the the holes in Ryan's plan, and she attacked on that. Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. She let, um, she let Biden open up a couple holes a few times where I was watching. A few mm -hmm. times he just shot some holes in Ryan's points and. He was. He very much wanted to respond, but she was just like, "No, no, next topic, bad boy, sit, stay." <laughs> like she, she even asked Paul Ryan, um, you know how how they were planning on doing all of, all the econ economic stuff they wanted to do, and I feel like she she. I feel like she wasn't really biased when she asked the question, but she wanted the answer. Mm -hmm. She really personally wanted the answer. Yeah. Like, for, for herself, not just for America, but for herself, she wanted the answer. Honestly, I kind of would rather that, because if mm -hmm. even the moderator is really invested in the discussion, that makes it much more interesting, because then she, then the moderator almost gets involved, and then it becomes a three-person <laughs> debate, and then it's just clusterfuck. Well, obviously that didn't happen, Nick. Yeah, I know. But wouldn't that have been interesting? <laughs> that would be a whole new drinking game. Oh, God. <laughs> I kind of want to see that. Well, if you're good at animating stuff, we could do it. I'm not. Okay, well, we can ask someone who is. And we can just voice over people. I'd watch it. Oh god, yes. I'd watch a a four person moderator or a four person I, I, I uh, kind debate. Of, I kind of want to see 
a uh, a Mortal Kombat. Well, <laughs> well, a, a fighting uh, version of the debate with uh, with uh, President Obama and Joe and Biden <laughs> on one side tag teamed against Romney and Paul Ryan. And then there's just like the moderator in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Romney and Ryan would win in like an actual fight, just because they're a little bit more they're a little bit more spry. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm completely hypothetical here. I know. <laughs> Though I would watch that I would watch that. I just get the feeling Biden would bring something. He'd bring yeah. like a gun or something. Because he seems he like, like that kind of guy. Sword. <laughs> wow, we are totally off topic now. <laughs> How the hell did we even get here? Well, you have me here. Exactly. That, that's your first problem. I'm really tired. I can tell. It's been a long day. Alright, we're going to call that then? Because um... I'm, I'm pretty much out. I mean, I could go on for hours, but at the well, same time, we always I could, could be bad. But if we did, not only would our audience get bored, but I would probably fall asleep as you talked. And Fraser streaming. <laughs> yeah. So there's multiple reasons to stop now. Mm -hmm. So thank you, everyone, for the for coming out to watch us rant about the people who talked about the nation. I wouldn't say that was much of a rant. Although it did get a little bit ranty at times. It's just not much. So, thank you for watching us in 40 minutes sum up three hours of footage. Was it only three hours? Total. Yeah, yeah that's about... Th wow. <laughs> if the moderators do their job correctly anyways, you're on. Oh, right. Well... And if Paul Ryan will stop sipping that water... <laughs> oh God! I am really hoping that John Stewart does something with that water. Oh, you know he will. Oh, it'd be so, it's gonna be so. I'm looking forward to to the Daily Show and the Colbert Report tomorrow. I really want. Uh... Or um, next week. It'll be next week. Wait, no. I was. I have no idea what I was gonna say. I brought something up, but I have no idea what it was. You think I know? No. If I don't even know, of course you don't know. I'm not magic. What about they Mitt Romney? Anyways, yes, we'll see what we uh, what we want to do with the uh, live debate coverage. That would be interesting. Yeah, good. But like I said, we'll see. Well, until then. Thanks for joining us for tonight. Yep. Thanks for watching this special episode of the Turbo special Newscast. Special episode. I'm probably just going to put this right up on YouTube. Alrighty. I'll yeah. toss it to Dropbox then. Yeah. So we'll see you later. See ya.